if a planet is debilitated, he is both weak and malefic. See, let's let's make one thing very clear: planet and house, house lord and house, are result givers. They make the result. What is the result? This is decided by planet and house. House lord in different house, and first lord in first house, first lord in second house, whatever the result is. And sun in first house, sun in second house. These two things does the result. Now, if you look at this Rashi result, that is more or less like sun is the karaka for ego. So it can be self respect, it can be ego, it can be low self respect, or ego itself is a higher form of self respect itself. So what is bigger than ego? Big ego. small ego now so technically when the planet is getting debilitated he is getting weak benefic or malefic that depends on you know how which house the planet is lording and very situated in but one set of result is there that because sun is the karaka for self esteem if he becomes debilitated there will be low self esteem now outwardly looking it is just a normal person with low self esteem it is it is a character trait but this when it will result in real life it will give bad result to the person because he will be having low self esteem there can be suicidal thoughts and all of these things can be there so keeping these things in mind you can attribute a little bit of maleficence to debilitated planet also though not actually but still the lack of the signification is something now coming to this particular topic of neech bhang so you see planet is in a portion of the sky a particular portion which is synonymous with a rashi that rashi is marked as the debilitation rashi of the planet now why he is debilitated there it is because of the nature of the rashi you can say or rather the nature of that part of the sky or nature of that part of the zodiac you can say right now there is no means by which the planet will be transported from debilitation to exaltation not at all he cannot be transported right whether the planet is going into direct motion or reverse motion he will go degree by degree he cannot jump he can be direct he can be retrograde he can stop he can be stationary but it will be a degree by degree movement there is no transportation throughout it so for the same reason no some people also believe that if two planets are in exchange planet a and planet b is in exchange then imagine that they are in their own rashis why imagine transportation technically cannot happen planet is where he is right i have the same opinion on planet on 0 degrees and 1 degrees also if you see a planet to be on 0 degree it is on 0 degree right now astronomy is very advanced right so it's not that previous time when you have to you know struggle to calculate the planet or anything as such it is not the case now right so technically because the planet cannot be transported it is not exalted so number one confusion what we are having that if a planet is debilitated and he is getting neech bhang he is exalted or powerful for that matter that he is not he is just not debilitated now right that could mean anything like it does not mean that it is exalted it is just not debilitated that now how does this neech bhang comes into play technically speaking now you see astrology is a tradition so initially who started it you don't know but as we do with all nigam we imagine that it came from shiva it went to rishis they made their contributions to it so generally the thing is that i will talk about what previous people for example in this gemini course i am talking what the gemini have told what i believe to be true intention of gemini adding this with my experience now later on people after me may or may not take my experience but if they are taking my experience they should take my name also for example if i am teaching you gemini i am telling you that it is gemini so whatever be the case so in this order when you see up to 10th to 12th century there is no mention of 10th to 12th ad 
देर इज नो मेंशन ऑफ नीच भंग और विपरीत राजयोग एट ऑल लेटर ऑन इट इज इंक्लूडेड बट द प्रॉब्लमेटिक पार्ट इज अराउंड टेंथ इलेवेंथ सेंचुरी इट इज गेटिंग इंक्लूडेड इन टू इट these people are putting their opinion and generally what happens suppose parashar is putting some opinion for the next 400 500 years people keep on mentioning it because it is in the testing phase after 400 500 years it becomes a standard norm then everyone accepts it 400 500 years are enough for to stay now this is introduced in 11th century around and in 15th century the tradition gets disrupted invasion starts happening in india so there is no way in which it can be substantially put that now this is a principle and at any given point of time it is not a principle from the rishi at all if you are taking bphs useless and authentic book right parashar's contribution is there that you may find in bphs but bphs as a book you have to study with care Parashara's contribution is there that you can see at multiple places. BPHS is a major source, but dependability is dubious, right? So you can take some chunks of it. Parashar course I taught, I did not taught complete BPHS. I taught the sections which is from Parashar, not the complete book. Okay. So coming back to the point. So there is no rule of testifying it, but still, if we go to it, if the Rashi Lord. the planet is debilitated in a rashi and if the lord of that rashi is in kendra to ascendant or moon it is niche bang this i understand okay if the planet is giving any result in rashi that is also because of the rashi lord though not entirely because of the rashi lord aries is everything like aries may include things of mars aries can be aggressive because mars is also aggressive but then aries is a ram mars is not mars is commander in chief mars is a human when you come to scorpio the distinction is even greater mars is a fiery planet scorpio is not a fiery rashi so a planet makes the rashi he owns a little bit of it not more than that but still if we are but still we can say that if the planet is getting power in a rashi it is also because of the lord now it's not like if venus is powerful then sun will be more debilitated or less debilitated that is not the point sun in libra is a debilitated sun and it does not matter much regarding what is the condition of venus so here it is very unauthentic just we are saying that if venus goes in kendra from ascendant or moon you know that kendras are powerful places planets in kendra to atmakara gets a support 100% strength now venus getting strength how sun is positively impacted from it i don't understand so very useless opinion second point is if the exaltation rashi lord of the planet goes in kendra to ascendant or moon now exaltation rashi until and unless the planet is situated there what is the purpose of exaltation rashi i also don't understand right if the planet is not situated there then it is of no use right any planet keep on going anywhere in this particular scenario though all the nine planets have influence on all the other nine planets that you can say but this is not the way you will use it so these two things are entirely bogus third formula that is there that if the debilitated planet is in kendra to lagna or moon then nichbang happens this is okay because kendra is having 100% strength and though this planet is debilitated where he should lose strength but because it is in kendra to ascendant or moon he gains power now you cannot say that the debilitation is lost certainly the planet have gained power but that is one thing in the same manner a debilitated planet can be digbali also in this particular scenario digbal is a source of strength but not the only source of strength so the problem with us is we understand digbali planet exalted planet all are the same they are just powerful but if you study with me you also know what type of power right digbali gives different type of result exalted gives different type of result right so this is something that we have to make very very clear digbali gives different type of result 
exalted gives different type of result so even if the planet is coming in from coming in kendra to ascendant or moon the planet is well supported to give his result well supported to give his result means if i am saying that a debilitated sun will give low self esteem that he may not give because he is well supported and the result of sun will come but this sun if the sun is fourth house lord and he is debilitated he will give weak properties properties which have less value and this result does not change so only the signification related results are uplifted a bit if the planet gets strength from other sources getting directional strength or going into kendra from ascendant or moon but the real result the house result of the planet the rashi uh, the house result of the planet and house lord result of the planet does not get changed so this is something that we have to keep in mind one more thing is there that if the for a debilitated planet if the debilitated rashi lord itself is connected to the planet aspecting the planet situated with the planet then the debilitation is lost i don't understand how if the traits of venus are causing sun to be debilitated then the connection with venus should be more debilitating but that is not taken somehow it becomes exalting god knows for what reason in this case i will say that okay if sun is connected to venus while being debilitated he is connected to the rashi lord in which case if they are in same rashi then whatever is the result that result you should predict sun venus will give a bad marriage and depending on the house lords they are becoming there is a connection that you should predict right if they are aspecting each other then because sun is in the rashi of venus and it is influenced by venus it makes a positive connection between venus sun and it will give a positive result for example you say venus is the lagna lord sun is the 11th house lord this may make a dhan yoga this may make a wealth combination but then still the planet is weak and there is no contribution to strength at all another thing is if the planet is aspected or conjoined by the exalted rashi lord then this is niche bang and this is one second bogus because if the planet is getting debilitated in rashi then how a connection with planet uplifted we should simply say that if venus is with sun then the sun is debilitated this we are not saying it is a rashi based result and the planet as i told before does not entirely represent a rashi so even if mars the exaltation rashi lord for sun is connected to sun it should be seen as a connection between mars and sun only and it have nothing to do with niche bang so prima facie niche bang is useless it cannot happen to a planet niche planet is also malefic result giver that he will be the weakness of the debilitated planet can only be taken care of if the planet is either having directional strength or going directly in kendra to ascendant or moon but in that scenario also the type of strength that the planet is getting is a different type of strength and is not a substitute for the strength that he is losing by being in debilitation so this point is very clear some principles are very illogical <laughs> and i don't think of logic when the principle is propounded by a rishi and how can a connection between 9000 and 10000 be a rajya yoga 9th is 12th to 10000 here i will not take logic because it is a pure prashar principle well accepted even in fact not from prashar from someone else that we will talk some other time it is a well accepted principle there i will not use logic but this principle of 11th century i will use logic so this is thing one this same goes with viparit raj yoga also so what is the word viparit here i don't understand the so, raj yoga means power easy life raj yoga means raja means king yoga means kingly combination so technically what a king is having king is having lot of resources king is doing nothing people are giving him taxes so you first take money then you work you are at that level in your profession where you can demand money first then work so this is rajyog some people have to work first then demand money so you are at a powerful position technically right that is what the king is doing you give me tax i will do something for the country it may or may not directly impact you that is okay 
ठीक है भाई इफ द गवर्नमेंट इज टेकिंग मनी फ्रॉम अ शॉप ओनर एंड सेइंग दैट वी विल गिव गुड रूट्स पीपल कैन कम टू योर शॉप इट्स नॉट लाइक आई विल गिव यू अ कंप्लीट थिंग ऑफ दैट यू हैव गिवन मी दिस मच मनी एंड दिस मच मनी आई हैव पुट इन टू अ रोड इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर शॉप दिस इज नॉट देयर सो टू थिंग्स आर देयर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू आर एट दैट लेवल इन योर प्रोफेशन वेयर पीपल आर पेइंग यू बिफोर हैंड and second thing is that you are not responsible for what you are doing it may or like people have to give you money you are at a good status then you have multiple servants you have good advisors technically you are living a kingly life money you are having resources you are having you are at a good position this is what the rajyog is right if the planet is powerful rajyog is there or if the kendra and kona lord are connected with each other then also rajyog is there okay i understand with the exaltation of planet as you know planet becomes powerful so if venus becomes powerful venus being the significator of luxury you are very luxurious you are having multiple things related to luxury so compared to a common man who is living in a rented property if you are having a luxury home of course your name fame status is high so you will have multiple servants also to take care of the home and wherever you go because of your status people will respect you you will have many people to serve you this is well understood with venus you get more luxuries okay with the connection of 9th lord and 10th lord 10th house is profession 9th house is luck so technically you are lucky in your profession right so three type of people are there person number 1 opens a shop person number 1 opens a shop somewhere i was recently reading about an actor many such clients are also there so he said that back in 2018 19 i wanted to take a break from acting and i purchased property and planted 15000 trees there but a famine came and all the trees were gone after that this corona came and now i am completely bankrupt i have to find work again this is bad luck you have done something and the god is against you bad luck right then second is a normal luck person right? not very strong luck not very weak luck this is a shopkeeper who is having shop in a street a very narrow street and he is getting people there but he understands that if i am having my shop in main road then it will give me more money in in this small street in this small lane people are not willing to come so this person will go to a main road and he will have more people unlucky person when he goes on the main road there will be theft in his shop this person will survive but he will have to go to the main road and he will have to take the hard work of you know going from home to the main road every day and have to maintain the shop and all of that x y z fortunate person is the one who is having a shop in the lane where many people are flocking na purane delhi ki mashhoor dukan so fame will come this person will have his shop in the like you know the most congested of the lane still people will flock him from places there are many people you know there are many shops where people visit after walking multiple kilometers because it is very famous it visit is very popular this is a very fortunate person so when the ninth lord of fortune is connected to 10th house of profession you are very fortunate in the matters of profession so you are having raj yog whatever you are doing people are accepting it whatever you are making people are accepting it people are using it enjoying it you are having fun when the same ninth lord is connected to fourth house you are fortunate in the matters of property and vehicle you have multiple properties you have multiple vehicles so much that if you sell one property every year still it will suffice so you don't have to work just keep on selling the property keep on putting the property on rent and multiple vehicles you are having no problem this is setup number 1 fifth house on the other hand is intelligence you can say good luck also but luck is more related to the ninth house fifth house directly speaking is intelligence so when the fifth lord is connected to fourth house your intelligence is working with respect to assets that you are having and right? land property is asset so your intelligence is working with respect to asset and you are investing them properly getting money you are having rajyog fifth house also indicates foresight when it is connected to tenth house you are very futuristic you have good foresight in your profession so you can make a revolutionary application or you have very good ideas about market how the market will go how it will fluctuate how it will not fluctuate you can prepare products beforehand and you will be at the top of your profession these things i understand 
अभी कम टू दिस विपरीत राजयोग सेट हु टोल्ड इट एज विपरीत राजयोग आई एम स्टिल फाइंडिंग दैट दिस इज विपरीत राजयोग और एनी वन हु मस्ट हैव एट्रिब्यूटेड गुड रिजल्ट टू इट आई एम स्टिल फाइंडिंग दैट पर्सन एंड नॉट एबल टू फाइंड टू बी वेरी फास्ट बट स्टिल चलो वन डे आई विल फाइंड डिटेक्टिव बीइंग डिटेक्टिव इज नॉट माय ड्यूटी अभी If the sixth lord is going into twelfth house, twelfth lord is coming into sixth house. Sixth lord is going into eighth house. Eighth lord is coming into sixth house. Eighth lord is going into twelfth house. Twelfth lord is coming into eighth house. It is Vipreet Rajyo. So, both at least. What does Vipreet Vipreet, which technically means reverse? What does it mean here? Reverse Rajyo, according to me, it should mean that the meaning of Rajyo is reversed. that means some may be happy in having a lot of wealth another person is saying that i am very happy i am having good freedom because i own no home no property no vehicle no clothes to wear i am very free i can go anywhere if you are saying this is vipreet rajyog the person is happy having nothing then many people are delusional this is one more delusional person what we should do with that one may be very proud of not having a home or not having good supporters or not having a good family one can be very proud of that but in reality it is something we should sadden him if this is not saddening him it is his problem reality does not change by it at all that such people are cheating themselves of kisi ki kya burai karne whatever is the thing but that's not the point right that's not the point that you are saying now what we are attributing We are saying that by twelfth house is expenditure, sixth house is enemy disease. Two things. Let's take enemy and disease. Prime two things. So you are saying that if Lord of expenditure is coming into sixth house, you your enemies are spent, or your disease is spent. Do you interpret astrological things like this? absolutely no you don't do it you will say that if 12th house which indicates expenditure if 12th lord is coming into 6th house much expenditure is happening on enmity and disease this is what you will say you will not say that the that, that the competition is lost or the disease is lost this is not the way you interpret it For example, if the seventh lord comes to ascendant, can you say the person will marry himself? Now, some people may have this statement: "Married to myself, I am my own favorite." Some people may have this statement, but this is just something to say. Right? This is more a delusional lie. Right? It's it's not a reality. It is not translating to reality. I am my favorite, or anything you may say, but that is a statement. Right? so first of all the interpretation that is being done is absolutely wrong if you are saying sixth lord is going into eighth house a proper interpretation will be that eighth house indicating misfortune the person is having great misfortune because of disease so at the peak of his career he gets a disease because of which he cannot continue working etc etc these type of things should happen now this by any way cannot be told as a raj yog if you are saying that 12th lord in 6th house does indicate that the enemy is being lost enemy is being spent then first of all this is not the way you are you interpret astrology secondarily if you are having no enemy make sure you are not successful at all because every successful person will have enemy if someone is saying that this person will have no disease i am yet to find a person without any disease there is everyone who is having disease some is having more disease some is having less disease but anyone without disease is impossible to find so vipreet rajyog once again is a very useless concept nichbang rajyog holds some ground vipreet rajyog to holds no ground at all so for the beneficence of the mankind these things should not be used neither should be propagated Otherwise, bad to the astrological world will happen. Then you know, hundred to hundred years from today, people, then the childrens will take our example that our ancients used to predict very great. Now we cannot because such principles. They go. What I get. What I have understood. Such principles get much hype because good result, accurate result. I sometimes think 
that good successful people don't have much time to spend they will not watch multiple youtube channels and do these things right the person who have to know they know they will take a consultation they will learn they will do whatever they will do now when everyone is telling you bad and someone is telling you good the good thing is supposed to get hype and these are generally teenagers who have not seen their life and all of that so whatever be the case such things get much hype but does not hold any ground as such. है ना अब कोई सोलह साल का बच्चा ये सोच के खुश होता रहे कि मेरे को विपरीत राज्य हो गया मेरे को बड़ा मजा आएगा तो वो खुश होता रहे उसका रियलिटी से कुछ खास लेना देना नहीं है ना मतलब खुशी तो आप ठीक है ढूंढ लो उसमें अलग बात है ऐसा होता नहीं है ओके तो अरगला गिविंग नीच मंग राज्य गवर्नमेंट सो बिकॉज अरगला इज सिक्योरिंग द रिजल्ट है ना द सेम क्वेश्चन बिकॉज अरगला इज सिक्योरिंग द रिजल्ट If you say that okay, sir, son is debilitated, but they go debilitation is not entirely bad. If son is debilitated in you say uh, sixth house, then still son in sixth house is very good. It will give you that you will win over enemies. If this son is debilitated, your enemies will be very weak, and you will win over them. So it's not a very great success that you are having, but still you are winning over your enemies. That is true. And with Argala. this result is permanent so winning over enemies is always happening and at no point of time it will ever happen that you get defeated by your enemy so two type of things are there if the sun is in sixth house and there is no argala you are generally victorious over your enemies but some enemy can be more powerful than you he can defeat you so be careful if the sun in sixth house is having argala then in that particular scenario you are victorious over your enemies and you will never meet an enemy which is more powerful than you more powerful people than you will be your friends only even if you meet someone who is more powerful than you as an enemy then in that scenario also the best thing that will happen is compromise settlement right so can be used in this particular way but entirely causing niche bhang i will not come to that i will not say that this is happening okay any question 